Hi, welcome to North Star Performance. My name is Jake Weeb. I'm the owner. I'd like to talk to you today about something that's been going around on the internet. There are some rumors and some lies being told um, by somebody else on YouTube. You've probably seen his videos and he's basically trying to tell the world that the products that I invented and hold a US patent on are cracking engine blocks. And he thinks that all these lies that he's, that he's saying about me, he thinks it gives him all the rights to produce the product that I worked so hard to bring to market for Cadillac owners and Oldsmobile, Oldsmobile Aurora owners and the like. I'd like to show you something. This here is an engine block out of a 2001 Cadillac Eldorado and that vehicle had come to me uh, that was the summer of 2012, sorry 2013 I believe. I'd have to check my records but it was, it was from Winnipeg, Manitoba. Um, the car was leaking coolant and the guy brought it to me with a cracked block. He knew it was cracked and he's actually one of my Facebook fans so he'll probably comment on this later. Um, we ended up putting a new engine block in, in his vehicle for him. This, this engine block had never had my studs in it before. Never once. You can actually see somebody had fixed it before. You can see there's heli coils in the block and there's one that had backed out. It's part way out here. There's a crack that runs horizontally along the engine block at the bottom here and a crack through the oil drain backs into the coolant jackets. And it starts, I'll, I'll do a close up later, but it starts about here that would be cylinder number 8, comes across 6, 4, and it ends at about the center of 4. And I've seen them where they crack all the way along from 2 all the way across to 8. And they're cracking almost identically all the time. And the reason is not any particular repair method. The reason is stresses in the engine block. So we all know that the, the factory head bolts, they back out, um, they let go over time because of galvanic corrosion that occurs between steel and aluminum. And what's happening is, say these head bolts on the ends here let go, they're not, not like they're no longer supporting the clamp load. Let's say a few of them let go at the top here. Now you've got, let's say, three head bolts that are holding all that stress. What's going to happen to the engine block? You know, it, it's not iron, it is aluminum, which it's, a, it's still a strong material, it's A390 aluminum, high silicon content. It's a strong material, but it's not as strong as cast iron. So what's happening is these three head bolts are taking up all the stress that either this one or this one used to hold, and it's no longer being distributed equally. So now you've got these stresses in the block, and it's, it's pulling on this aluminum. And eventually, with all the heat cycles, something's got to give. Well, this is what happens. I'll do a close-up and show you. I'll just take my camera off the tripod here for a second. Not sure if you can see that crack there. I'll bring it into the light. And there's the crack. I'll put my finger where it starts, you can see it, it's kind of under some oil. And this block had never been Never been tapped by me, never had my studs in it. You can see how the head bolt holes are rusty. You can tell there's been there's been helicoils in there. Yeah, and the helicoils there. Um, that is one thing that uh, I'd like to stress to people. Helicoils are a good product for certain places, just not for fixing head bolt holes. There's just too much torque and too much clamp load. So here you have the helicoil that, that's being pulled out. Now I've got a few more engine blocks. Actually I'm at the, the western shop right now so I can't show you those but I have a few more in Ontario. One is completely, it's a completely stock block. It's never had any drilling or tapping done to it and it has a crack very similar to this. I'll show you more as I can. So please don't believe everything that's out there on the internet. Thanks.